Hi guys, we are on VRM24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Xiaomi Redmi Note 12S. At the very beginning, we need to remove the card tray. For this, we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the combined tray for two SIM cards and memory card. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can proceed to the assembly. To remove the back cover, we will use a thin plastic film. This is the protective film from the new display. We insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the back cover and run it lengthwise to detach the cover. We need to be careful around the cameras. As the back cover is separated from the cover of the cameras, the back cover will be glued around the cover of the cameras. And we open the back cover. We only have a gasket on the cover. Then we need to unscrew the two screws securing the cover of the cameras. For this we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash trio. Now we need to detach the cover with a non-metal tool. Carefully slip the thin tool under the cover and detach the clips securing the cover. On the cover of the cameras, we can see the flashlight elements. After that, we disconnect the fingerprint sensor cable connector. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the top, also using a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or HTO. We recommend placing screws on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. We also unscrew the screws on the bottom part using the same 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. One screw will leave, it fixes the speaker. And we move on to detach the middle cover. We use a plastic film. We run the film into the gap near the hole of the card tray, create a space large enough to keep walking. And then we can use a thicker tool and run it alone, detaching the clips. It is necessary as always to be careful in the area of the side buttons and fingerprint sensor and in the area of the cameras, so as not to damage anything. We also need to be careful on the corners, because the cover is held especially tight on the corners. and we remove the middle cover. On the cover we have the fingerprint sensor and contact pads and antenna transmission lines. And we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metal tool. Then we unscrew one screw securing the speaker with the same Philips 1.5 mm screwdriver. And we can detach the speaker assembly, gently pry up at the edge and remove the speaker. After that we need to disconnect the interboard cable connector and coaxial cable connector. And the display connector. Then we find the right and convenient place for us to hook at the edge and remove the subboard. board. 
on the subboard we have the charging port, microphone and other elements on the inside. And in the display frame we still have the vibration motor. And we can detach the front camera. The camera is traditionally glued to the shield on the motherboard on a copper heat dissipating film. We can also detach the rear cameras. It is better to hold the cameras and preferably not to touch the lenses. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector, bend it aside and disconnect the interboard cable connector. And we can remove the motherboard. Find the right and convenient place for us, hook at the edge and pull out the motherboard. On the back side, the motherboard may be held on by the thermal pest. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We need to unwrap the brown tabs A and B and read which one we need to pull for. And as it becomes clear to us from the description, we have to pull the white tab upwards. With one hand we hold the display frame and with the other hand we gently pull the tab with the letter A upwards, detaching the battery. As we can see, the battery is also held on the transfer protective coating, which protects the interboard cable. So this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the next video. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.